Yo, what up, everybody? It's RJ with Roads to Liberty, and I want to talk to y'all about progressivism. Progressivism. Right, so here's my main gripe with progressivism. It is the branding. It's the presumptiveness of the branding, right? If anybody's ever read 1984 by George Orwell, you understand that part of achieving a totalitarian state is co-opting the language, right? So the idea is that if you can control the way someone speaks, you can control the way they think. And if you can control the way someone thinks, you can control how they're willing to lead their life or what they perceive reality to be, right? Um, it might seem a little out there, but if you really think about it, if I got you to believe that the word ice cream cone meant punch in the face and the word hug meant push you down a mine shaft, you wouldn't want ice cream and you wouldn't want hugs. Um, I, the key is that you have to be convinced that, the, that that's the de these are the definitions, right? So I'm not saying that this is something that is easily done I'm just saying that this is, is something that that totalitarian um, types of people or approaches to controlling society co-opting the language is one of the main um, avenues to do that so check it out with progressivism it has the word progressive in the name which if you break down progressive you get the word progress so what is what is being said when a social movement uses the word progressivism? This is the ideology that will lead to progress. So if you're a progressivist or you believe in progressivism, you are for things that bring progress um, into reality, that make things happen on a society level um, in, in so far as you could say that society or culture has progressed well what does progress mean if you are experiencing progress you're going forward you're achieving something i'm actually looking up the definition of progress right now to give you guys that um, forward or onward movement towards a destination right so check it out that's uh, dictionary.com i believe so it's a misleading name because it's presumptive of a shared destination we're moving, we're moving forward towards a destination. All right, well, if I say our destination is the zoo and you want to go to the aquarium, and I say, no, it's okay, we're making progress, don't worry, and then we end up at the zoo, you're going to be upset because you didn't want to go to the zoo. You wanted to go to the aquarium. But I go, no, we made progress. We started at our house and we made it all the way to the zoo. So like, that's great, but the, the aquarium is past our house the other way. So if anything, I went away from the thing I wanted to get to. This is what's going on with progressivism. The people on the left who will say, I'm a progressivist, that maybe they don't realize, I'll be willing to give some of them credit for the fact that they don't realize that this is sort of a cheap ploy with language to sort of get what you want. And it's a co-opting of language, it's dangerous because if I say I am for progress in society, but what that means for me is marriage being between man and a woman or, or children being allowed to pray um, in school or, you know, any anything, whether I agree with that or not, I'm saying progressivism has its own ideology, its own agenda. And by calling it progressivism, the people who are progressivists are basically saying, if you believe in progress, you have to believe in all of these pet projects, all of these causes, whether it's uh, gender neutrality, whether it's uh, gender fluidity, uh, homosexuals marrying, um, you know, reparations, um, white guilt, white privilege, whatever these concepts are that go along with progressivism, world government, socialism, free healthcare. If you think that any of those things are not what you would call progress in the world, if you think that those things would actually take society backwards, you're not allowed to use language anymore, according to the progressivists. They're saying, well, no, that's not progress. So you can't call yourself a, a progressivist. Well, I'm, I am for progress, but I have a different definition of what I believe progress is. So according to progressivists, you're out of luck. You can't use that word. You have to think of a new way to describe the thing you want. So I'm a better outcomist. I'm a conservative, whatever. So you can't 
get around the, st the stigma, perhaps, of calling yourself a conservative when you might have very liberal views on other areas. So I might want to legalize drugs, but oh no, that doesn't count. My point is, is that you're co-opting language as a progressivist. You're not allowing people with any kind of contrasting viewpoint to have an opinion outside of what it is that you believe. It's, it's like if a restaurant were to name itself deliciousness, but they only served one type of food, like deep fried tofu. Well, if you don't happen to like deep fried food or you don't happen to like tofu, then you wouldn't consider that food to be delicious. But people that go there and do like deep fried food and do like tofu and they go, no, this is delicious. This perfectly named restaurant, deliciousness. I love deep fried tofu. Well, that only works for people that agree with your definition of what delicious is. Delicious is subjective, just like progress. So you can't really accurately name a restaurant deliciousness because unless you serve every kind of food under the sun and it's prepared to perfection, only in that narrow sense would it be accurate. And it still may not be accurate because people say, well, I don't like food prepared this way. I like, uh, I like to eat raw vegetables and they don't serve raw vegetables here or whatever. So what one person calls progress, what one person calls delicious is a subjective quality. It's not something that's true of all people in all cases. So progressivism is on its face automatically a sort of destructive ideology because the founders and the proponents of it aren't willing to address this critical flaw in the philosophy or ideology of it in and of itself. By calling yourself a progressivist and not acknowledging that you're taking language over, um, it's, it's just simply unfair. It's simply uh, misleading, unfair, um, intellectually dishonest, manipulative, propagandizing. Um, if you're a prop, if you're a progressive, I implore you to disavow your relation to that phrase. Um, just like as people would say, and, and Roads to Liberty, look, we talk about this all the time. Um, I talk about this all the time. If it's actually technically true to say that someone who doesn't believe in having rulers is an anarchist, well, that may be true, but is there a better way to phrase it? Can we call ourselves a consentist or a voluntarist? Sure, right? Or classical liberal. Sure, these things ask for more debate. They, they, they put forth a question or they put forth curiosity. If I say I'm a classical liberal and you don't know what that means, you might go, oh, what does that mean? Is that the same as a liberal? What does that mean? Or you're a voluntarist. What does that mean? You like to go to soup kitchens? Let me explain to you what I mean by voluntarism. I mean that all human, interac human interactions ought to be consensual and free of coercion. Oh, well, that sounds like something I would agree with. Well, but what about taxation? What about, um, you know, forcing your kids to have a social security number, forcing your kids to have to register for public schools or else, you know, having parents dragged away and having their children taken from them? Well, no, I wouldn't agree with that. All right, well, that's what your, you know, progressive um, political party is is suggesting or in favor of. And, and the same can be true on the conservative side. Um, that's not something for another video, but I will just touch on that. What conservatives are saying is they want to conserve something, conserve resources, conserve values. Well, that presupposes what sort of values you want to pre you want to conserve. If I'm for, you know, child sacrifice, which I'm not, um, and that was something that was done all throughout history in the past, you know, in different weird corners of the world. Well, I don't think conservatives, most of them, would say I'm for conserving that, but. Another person might say, I want to conserve that aspect of or, you know, cannibalism or whatever. So there's more accurate ways to speak about your political viewpoint without using a buzz phrase that sort of bastardizes or ruins language. And that's what I'm really um, trying to put out there with this video. So to wrap it all up, who watching this would be willing to defend progressivists or progressivism as a, as a term and to say it's fair to call specific policy choices or specific social outcomes that you want or a person wants is it how could it be fair to call that that thing progressive how is that not manipulative and the same can be said for conservatives or other groups so I want to know what you guys think thanks for watching